Yo, 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 this is Brandon. Today we are going to look at three different ways to ink in Adobe Illustrator. This is now my second Adobe Illustrator video. I'm really excited to do these guys, so I hope you are excited as I am. I've been looking around on YouTube for quite some time for people that make cartoons in Illustrator, and I have a hard time finding people. There's some dope ass videos about some uh, like professional logos like 3d looking orbs that have all this light coming out of them and stuff and they look absolutely amazing <laughs> but that's nowhere even close to what I do as you can see here so today we're gonna look at three different ways that you can ink in Illustrator and we'll see which one you like better so this first one that we're looking at here this was a in the last picture and this is taking advantage of Illustrator's 6d art brushes if you see their 6d art pen brushes pretty sweet actually I've not had too much experience with these but I, I found them in the Adobe CC stock brushes I'm not exactly sure how long they've been a part of the uh, stock shipment of Adobe but they are in CC so if you have CC I definitely advise you to check these things out uh, the 6d means that they operate on pressure sensitive stuff so if you are lucky enough to have a Cintiq then by all means take advantage of these brushes I personally am NOT one of those lucky people I have a Intuos Pro it is touch sensitive though so it's pretty G very portable I actually got the Bluetooth thing for it this last Christmas and now it's amazing I can like walk into a coffee shop with my laptop and my wireless tablet and just sit there all day long it's like the coolest thing the entire studio can go wherever that wherever I am it's pretty amazing uh, shameless plug I am an artist for or co-founder actually for 77 spark studios we make kids games go check out Pazingo and monster words on any iOS Amazon or Android market check it out all right so back to this uh, we have three different ways to ink here. This one, taking advantage of the Adobe Illustrator 6D art brushes. They are pressure sensitive, so they. what that means is that you don't always have the same thickness of line. And if you guys have been around as long as I have, you know that some of the initial versions of Illustrator were subject to the same thickness of line. Because you're not actually... Like it, when you're drawing on paper, right, and you put something down, the edges of that line exist. But when you're drawing in Illustrator, the edges of those lines don't really exist. It's just like a pin, uh, like a real hairpin line down the center of these things. And if you look up in the top left corner right now, it says one point next to stroke. That means that in from the center line, the, the black part juts out up to 0.5. Right, so the max line weight is a full point, and it goes 0.5 on either side of the line that, the, that you're actually drawing. Because this is a computer program, right? So it, it's like computing these lines, it's not like you're actually painting them. So anyway, I'm not sure exactly how long the 60 art brushes have been around, but they are super sweet, as you can see. I really enjoyed this version of inking. And you are able to get this really dynamic quality, very organic, uh, look to it which is actually very hard to achieve in Illustrator I think so here we are wrapping up the first version uh, again this was a now we are moving into the next one and this one is B on the initial image that you saw we are using primarily the Pathfinder tool and the pen tool so if you look at it from a technical perspective, this is much different than the first one that we did. Because as you can see here, you're drawing out the edges of the line. Whereas before, you were laying down the line and then Illustrator was computing how fat that line was, was based on how hard you were pressing on your tablet, right? This way, you're actually using the pen tool to draw the edges of the line and you yourself are adjusting the thickness based on how far you pull out these Bezier handles and uh, where you place these vertices. Uh, as far as the Pathfinder tool, uh, you see I used that for the circles in the, um, uh, in the eye bolt there, I guess. I'll use it again for the ear. And the Pathfinder tool has an upgrade to it 
I know I should know what it is, and a lot of people that have come to Illustrator after me probably use it all the time and tell me that my use of Pathfinder is ancient. Um, so definitely check it out. It's like the merge tool or the shape tool, something like that. Um, but it's for like Illustrator Touch. Uh, so if you have like one of those Microsoft tablets, um, I'm sure there's a couple other things that it works on now. But so anyway, this this way takes substantially longer than version A, uh, as you can imagine, because you're kind of drawing each line twice since you're drawing the edges, and you're adjusting these vertices and the length and the direction of these bezier handles. So the first way took about 35 minutes, I think. This one is right in and around a, an hour 15, hour 20. So it does take a lot longer. I think it's a little more traditional in just the way that Illustrator has worked in the past. A lot of people that have used Illustrator for a while may, may do things this way. So a little bit about this character here. His name's Radigan just a guy that I came up with recently um, he looks like a rat and he's got a big ass gun so I figured that was appropriate rat a gun um, a couple weeks ago I, I drew this pig he had a machine gun and an army helmet and he's like crushing his skull and he was all pissed off looking and I got a pretty good response on a lot of the social networks that I'm involved in so I'm continuing this whole idea of anthropomorphic warfare through the end of the year and I think it's gonna be pretty sweet so the whole idea is that you know by January 1st of 2017, I'm going to have this cast of just a, a butt-ton of characters, right? And then I'm going to spend 2017 trying to color them. Because one really awesome thing... Oh, thumbs up, click it, pretty please, like my channel. Let me know if you're into this kind of stuff, because I'm not sure. Can't find a lot of it on YouTube. Um, so yeah, let me know if you're into it, and I will keep making these. And what you would be in store for is, again, this animal warfare. We're going to create this huge amount of anthropomorphic uh, war-ready characters. And then in 2017, we're going to come back and color them all. Because this uh, Illustrator program is pretty fantastic in that it just makes really crispy artwork. right? I mean, that's the thing that I love about it. That's why I'm drawn to it. I mean, not to mention... I make mobile games, Pazingo wants to words, go check it out. Um, and I have to export in a lot of various sizes because, I mean, Apple has that crazy retina display and then Google has all these really, um, uh, a ton of different sizes of, of screens, right? So we have to export our art in all these various different sizes. In Illustrator, there's no relative size, so it really helps out. Um, but anyway, the it's really crispy and I love the crispiness of it. And I, I find it hard to, to color and keep the crispiness. So next year we're going to take a look at, at how to color and keep the crispiness. So stick around and, and we'll look at that. Here if you look, I drew this actually on pen and paper using a, a uh, Copic brush pen. Check those out. They're really, really sweet. So you can get a really dynamic line based on how hard you press. And I just imported it uh, through the Apple uh, AirDrop and the picture viewer control C or command C command V and then I went ahead and expanded the image trace which is where you get these lines here so these are actually hand-drawn lines that were basically traced by Illustrator so this is option C from the original image and go ahead and take a look that was actually the fastest one because I couldn't figure out how to record myself drawing so if you guys know how to do that, let me know in the comments. But here we go. Here's the final version. A, B, C. Let me know which one you like best. See you next time.